Hello and welcome to the 63rd tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at stack progress bars. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Progress bars are really cool, but we can easily make them stack on top of each other to show different colours. So if it's low, it could be red, orange, green, and so forth. So that looks pretty cool as well. So because a progress bar could maybe indicate health as well. For example, in a game, if, other, if you wanted to use Bootstrap for a game. So let's just open up our index file in a text editor. If you scroll down, what we're going to do is we're going to do a div. Yeah. And this div is going to have a class of progress. Most of this is all stuff that we've done before. We're just going to just do it from scratch again. Because there are, are a few slight changes. Now, in here, we're going to have a div and a class. Oh, I'll sort out the formatting in a moment. Progress dash bar progress dash bar dash success and we're just going to put some inline styling usually you don't want to put inline styling but just for the sake of this tutorial to make it easier we are width is going to be at 35 percent I'm going to close the bracket and what we're going to do is also close off this div tag inside here we're going to have a span tag and this is simply just for screen reader so we won't actually see what is going on in here so we're just going to put SR only aka screen readers we're going to put 35% complete Su success and that is done so let's just sort out the formatting and now what we're going to do is just copy and paste this here. And the changes we're going to make are progress bar. We're going to change this to warning. We're going to put a progress bar striped style. The style width is going to be, well, 20. And inside here, you guessed it, we're going to put 20 as well. So what we're also going to do is just copy and paste it again and the final thing is going to say danger. We're going to put the style with as 10 and I'm going to put this as 10 as well. So that looks a-okay. I think we're ready to run this now. So if we just zoom out, it's all saved, just open it up in our web browser and as you can see we have stacked progress bars. So we have the green part, the orange part, and the red part. And maybe you want to reverse. Maybe you want the red first, the orange second, then the green. So experiment with it. And we've just put striped on the middle one. We can put it on all of them, just the edges or whatever you want. Just experiment with it That's as an extra task. So rearrange the colors, use more colors based on the tutorials we've showed. I mean, based on what we showed in the previous tutorials and mess around with the striped as well and make them active as well which is something we've also shown and see how that looks when you have striped on all of them and different or only on some of them and when it's active in the next tutorial we'll cover media objects if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk all the required source code will be in the description to see hundreds of more videos like this one for free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.